right now we will see the software connected component workbench in more detail so let me just start the software so once you install the software from this website just install it and then I'm gonna start it so we'll start from the beginning so I will start my CCW connected component workbench and the software version which I'm using is 13.00 so maybe if you're watching the course, I don't know, some other date where they have new versions, so maybe you see something else. But I'm using 13.00. So that's my software screen. And first thing you have to do is, let's say I want to connect to my real PLC, not simulation. If you want to do simulation, I have another video for that in detail, step by step. So let's see, I want to create a real project. So I'll go to File and go to New. Now here it will, it will ask me for the project name. So I will type test project one. And this is the location where this is gonna be stored. Click create. And once you do that, fraction of seconds, you will see a screen. Select device from the catalog. So because we are working on the software, we need to add some devices. So I will go for controllers because we're gonna talk about PLCs. And the controller which I have, which you see here on my screen, this is Micro 850. And on the top, you will find the model number. So if you're having a PLC, notice what is mentioned here. So it's 2080 LC50. So this I can select from my software, 850. So it was 2080 LC50, 24 QWB. So that's the model number for my PLC. Let me confirm it once again. 24 QWB looks great. So once you select that here, you will see different versions of this PLC. So I will select the latest version 12 and this is active and this is just some configuration of this PLC. You can confirm and click select. So once you do that, you can click add to project and this will add the software, the hardware in my project. Sometimes I receive this error message. I don't know something with my OPC UA foundation, but if I ignore it, it works. I have to check why it's coming. I don't know the answer at the moment, but it doesn't affect my programming experience. So at the moment you can see this is the hardware micro 850. And I'm just going to explain you what is happening here. So let me just make it bigger. Something like this. So here on the left side, you will see your device. And in this device, you will see micro 850. And you have programs, global variables, user-defined function, blocks, user-defined functions, and data types. So first one is the program. Program is where you write the program. So here you can add either letter diagram or FPT or structure text. Global variables are the variables which you define or which I can show you now, for example, if I go to global variables, these are the IOs of the PLC. So here you will see on the top, IOEMDO00. So this is digital output 00, first digital output, that's the tag. And this is in global variable. And this is a Boolean tab. If you know the data type, Boolean is just true and false. And then you have DO01, second output, and so on. So you have total 10 outputs here. And then when you see DI, that's digital inputs. So these all are input and output defined in the PLC in global variables. And then you have some specific tags. For example, this is a cycle. Cycle date and cycle count. This is DN, cycle date is time, and so on. So you have a lot of system related variables already defined in the controller. And if you want, you can also use it. So we will, we will use some of them in the programming lessons and then I will explain you what is that. So on the left, again, you have global variables here and program. If I click on the program, I have to right click and add a program. So if I add, let's say I have three options, structure text, letter diagram and function block. So this is the program. This is the main program. So I will say, okay, I want to do it in a letter diagram, but it's totally up to you. Click on letter diagram and then you double click on the program and you will see a programming window like that. And every program which you add has a local variable. Now the difference between local and global variable is the local variable you can only access within this program. Okay. And the global variables you can access anywhere in any logic but you can create some inputs and outputs in the local variable, which you can connect to the other block. So we will understand that in detail 
in the next programming lessons. But just a small tip here, global variables you can access anywhere, local variable has a local accessibility within the program. So that's my program, how you can add a main program. And then you have global variable. So if I go inside the local variable, I can see another window. And here I can write, let's say, uh, just A is my Boolean input. And here, this is my data type Boolean. And in alias, you can define a comment. So let's say I can write, or I can write start button. So this is like a comment. And then you have dimensions, project values. So dimension means if I give dimension, let's say 0 0.5, then it will make this A as an array of six Boolean input from zero to six. So that's how you can define a dimension if you want to define an array. But if you just want a Boolean, just don't write anything here. And then you just have one Boolean. Okay, so this is the local variable A. And I can another take where I can take another variable, let's say B, and this is also Boolean, and this is my motor. And once I have this variable, I can take here a letter logic. So I can maybe close this one. So from the toolbox, you will find all the instructions, which I can bring it to my letter logic. Okay, so let's say I can bring first a direct contact. So you can just drag it, put it here. And then it will ask you for the variable, which variable I want to give it to it. So I have variable already made a, I can give a here. And then you have another output, let's say direct coil, I can bring it here to the plus drop it, ask for the output and B. Now, if I actuate A and B, it will do nothing to my PLC because these are local variables. Okay, their scope is just locally in the program. But if I want to actuate my input instead of local variable, what I can do is I can double click this one again. And then you will see variable selector. And here, instead of local variables, I can see global variables. And in the global variable, I could be able to define, okay, wait a second. You can either go to this IO variable in micro 850 because in global, we did not define this one, but you can also define from here. So in IO, you can take first input as this one. This is connected to my first input. And here to the output, I can also connect IO, my first output. So now when first input is true, my first output will be true. So this is how your connected component workbench software works. So here, this was about the program, but we will come, come to this part later when we are programming some lessons. So we will just understand the software at the moment. Global variables, and then you have user defined function block. Now, if you know, maybe I'm not sure how good you are in the programming, if it's your beginner lessons, but sometimes we make a program in small parts, and then we just call this program in the main program. So these paths which we create, this is kind of like functional blocks or just function. So if I show you this function block, I can right click and I can add and I can add any of these three programs. So when I call any of these three, three programs, I can, let's say I create an FBD. So inside I have this FBD with some local variables and in this FBD, I can write a function. I can write a program here. And once I'm finished, I can call this program in the main program. And how we can do that, it will come in the programming lessons. But here, just to explain you, you can make function block diagram on the left side like this. By right click, add. You can add multiple function blocks. Similarly, you can add a function. So right click and add. And if you see, I add this time, okay, another FPT. And I can also add a function and then I can call this function in the main program. In case of function, I can return only one value. In case of function block, I, I can have multiple inputs and multiple outputs with its own database. Okay. Value in function is temporary, but value in function block is retainable. Okay. This is the two difference between function block and functions. And then you have a data type. In data type, if I open this one, you will see this is some default data type in this PLC. For example, this is for Modbus local address and Modbus here, not address, IP address. So this is by default defined here. And here you can see some more predefined words in this database, data type. 
We will come to that later. We can also create your own data types if you want in your PLC. This feature I haven't tried so far, but we will come to that with some more detailed information. So here, this was your devices and the structure of your controller. And this is your programming window. And this is another window. If you don't see this window, perhaps you can, for example, close this one if it's like this. Here you can see on the top your variables, start page, and controller. So if you want to split the window, what you can do is, for example, I want to see these variables and program in the same window. So just drag it and then you select which one you want. Okay, from here I can select this one. So I have a split window now. That's how you can split the windows. Most important part is how you structure your program. And on the top, the important part is this is the connection status. This is how you compile your program, verify your program, and that's how you build your program. And then you can download the program or upload the program or clean the program. So these are very important. We're going to use a lot in our programming lessons. And here you also have a simulation. So these things are important, how you can change, play around with this one in the software. So I hope you are comfortable a little bit about how to program and small another tip when you are programming the logic, for example, here. And if you go to properties, you can define the font color or you can define the font size, the height, everything you want. You can also control that just a bit of, bit of cosmetics. And in the toolbox, you can define the instructions. OK. I hope this was a meaningful lesson for you if you are using control CCW for the first time. In the next video, I'm going to write a simple logic and I'm going to download that to the PLC. So we will see the steps, step by step. And in the further next video, I will show you how you can do that with the simulation. So first, next two videos, it's all about how to download and upload. And then we will start our programming lessons. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.